Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about my library, my FTP UI library that's gonna help you to create some ribbons more easily. So let's go in React 24 and create some projects um, using the app loader. And I already have created a project, the basic project. I'm gonna have something like this. If I build that, it's gonna appear in my ribbon uh, in here. So yep. That's gonna be uh, easy to show what each uh, command does. So basically, if you want to install in your plugin, uh, you're gonna go in your project, uh, go in the um, uh, NuGet package, so, and let's search for count.revs.y and install this one. I'm using the version, the last version, the 6.1, that's gonna work with the Rev 25. Yes, I'm pretty sure. And uh, I already have installed in this because I'm using the templates with the app loader and basically gonna have this approach with the Eastern application that gonna create uh, a panel with this name and gonna create a push button that gonna execute this command, this Eastern command. And uh, I'm gonna set a image uh, with this location um in this button in just and in the shutdown i'm gonna remove the the panel so i can have this nice effect when i change something uh, i'm gonna update that but actually gonna remove i'm gonna add a new one so yeah that's what the app loader is doing in the background but um what this uh private y uh, package does i'm gonna add this extension that basically have this extension for uh, for ribbon panel that I'm gonna create a panel with a panel name or could create a panel with the tab name and a panel name as well. So yeah, or I can select a specific panel in in this location, uh, create or um, select. Yes, some actually should be around, but actually search and then if not found, uh, create a new one. Yeah, that's useful in some occasion. Yeah, I can move uh, to a new ribbon tab. That's more advanced stuff, but you can uh, and remove the uh, the panel as well. That's what I'm doing in here, and that's basically it's what the to create ribbons and ribbon panels, and I can create in here as well. Just to show, I create something like this. Gonna appear in here my ribbon. And yep, I have my ribbons in there. Great. Uh, what else I can do? Uh, I can change the name of this one. Yeah, could change. Change name, maybe. Yeah, that's gonna appear in there. Great. Uh, let's do something like this. Gonna be good enough. And to create a push button, I also could create something like this and create a new one in that. Have two buttons by now. Both do the same commands, but no worry. Uh, I and to change the name here, that's a strange name. I could use in something like this. Yes, uh, name of my button. It's gonna change in there. Yes, or I could use some other stuff like the the same way I'm setting the large image. I could also set other stuff like. Let's go in here, set viability, the set contextual uh, help, set image, that the small image, set item size, large image like this one, uh, long description, uh, show image or not, I can hide if I want, show text or not, same way, and show text, that's what I'm searching for. If I change to name too, maybe, yeah, you're gonna change in there, like crazy. So, hey, set other stuff like tooltip you could do something like that uh this is a tool chip something like this i do this if i hold my mouse in the button i'm gonna show the tooltip great and if i go in here and uh set long description that's similar uh is a long description yes and if i go 
in here uh, hold my mouse in that uh, if I hold for some time it's gonna appear a long description you can add more information what the button does and rates and other inter stuff is I can add as well a, a tooltip image yes I could add within this uh, gonna work if I hold my mouse in there gonna show the tooltip then gonna show long description and the tooltip image gonna appear when the long description appears as well so that's my, my image in that that's an icon but gonna work if I add a png or other stuff and yes uh, i'm gonna create uh, another video just short image that have, have some interesting features and yeah especially the icon you can have the small icon and the big one that's gonna be useful um, and yes uh, what else i can talk about is the this is an interesting one i can add a new line using slash r so i'm gonna have a new line in that that's the raft feature so by default that's how it works and yeah uh, what else i can talk about uh, i can add a set uh, availability yes that's interesting so let's create a uh, availability class let's create in this place as well not gonna be a big deal let's go in my revt revt commands let's create in here public class availability external availability yes let's create this and this is gonna be um, bum, 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 return true yes just to show so we're gonna work as before to set this to false and gonna basically disable that command yes great uh other options that i have as well is instead of using this set availability i could also add in here after the command that i want to create in the push button could as add the availability yes and I'm gonna create in that if i show here I have the command push button with these options and have this other options as well and have other stuff for the ribbon button extension yes uh, great uh, this is gonna work like that or i could also have instead of having a unique class i could also add in my own command class external command the same uh, in, uh, external command availability interface and this is going to be applicable in the command as by default yeah if i return true in here let's show that gonna be true for everything if i change to false gonna be applicable in both commands because i'm gonna apply this interface in the command as well yeah that's a neat feature so i could use something strange like that uh drop it and let's create a bool is is available enabled uh, enabled it's gonna be here and let's disable the commands false false yes it's gonna be true true and in this case it need to be static it's gonna be private yes but if i'm gonna be enable if i click I'm gonna disable both commands yeah that's uh stuff you can do yes by default uh and i guess that's basically it for this video about the push button i could also show but uh, what's gonna we gonna do next so if i go on the ribbon panel if i go in create i can create a combo box push push down button that's gonna be talk about next video the split button as well and other options if i go on the new I'm gonna show the other the class related to the data stuff about Revit api why yeah
And that's it uh, for this video. Let's take a look about this too. That has a little difference, but uh, I could create in here just to show. Yes, with any, nothing. Yeah, that's true. We're gonna talk about next video. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to give a big like. That can help a lot in this video. Thanks and bye bye.